way for the, the Greeks to, you know, come out, come together. Festival season kicks off here in western New York. This weekend, you can find everything from a taste of Greece to the camouflage of the bash. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui is live on Delaware Avenue tonight with the highlights. Hey, Ali. <laughs> Well, good evening to you, Ashley. Doors here for the Bash event don't open until 8 o'clock, but doors do open at 6 for VIP ticket holders. The fund's going to a great cause, the American Red Cross Western New York chapter, and it helps pay for things like sending volunteers to disaster relief areas or right here at home. Heaven forbid you experience a fire. The Red Cross will be there to help out. Meanwhile, the Buffalo Greek Festival is happening just down the street, as a matter of fact. It's in its 40th year now. Well, earlier today, I caught up with a few volunteers who have been with it since the very beginning. If you don't know his name, my name is Michael Valentasis. You probably know Michael Valentasis' face if you've ever been to the Buffalo Greek Festival. He's been the faithful festival bartender for the last 15 years. Although he's worn several hats during his volunteer days, he started in security. I was part of the crew from the original festival back in 1976 77. So you can imagine he's seen his fair share in that time, like back when the Greek liqueur Ouzo was flowing. Some of the antics that people had once they drank it, it was pretty funny. The festival hasn't served it in 25 years, but Valentasis says that doesn't stop people from coming back for the Greek wine and imported beer, among other things. They come in year after year, and that's what I really enjoy about it, dealing with the public. And that hasn't changed, but Valentasis says the face of the festival has changed since it started in 1977. Everything was done in our upstairs gymnasium. And the lines and the lines were long. We didn't have any tents. We didn't have anything outside except the food truck that, as a matter of fact, Loblaws donated. That's how far back it goes. It's pretty funny. These days, there are tents across the church property to accommodate the estimated 10,000 visitors. That's also where the bar is located and where you'll find Michael Valentasis. He says he wouldn't miss it. I hope to be here next year, God willing, and it'll be even better. And the Buffalo Greek Festival runs until Sunday at 9 p.m., so you have plenty of time to stop by. Meantime, the bash is for one night and one night only. It runs until midnight. Now, I have the pleasure of being joined by the Western New York Executive Director, Chuck Mara. Chuck, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, if you could explain why you hold an event like this and how it helps your organization. Sure. So, it is an event with an 18-year uh, tradition, and of course, we have 4,000 our best friends enjoying some great food and entertainment. Caitlin Cook making a homecoming for us this year. It'll be a great uh, evening and of course the weather is just perfect for that. Uh, but certainly the uh, proceeds of this event really go to do some great work in our community uh, supporting disaster relief services in Western New York, especially things like home fire, uh, also uh, preparedness, uh, doing uh, or installing home fire alarms and uh, creating preparedness pl uh, plans for families, supporting our services to our forces, uh, which is uh, helping uh, folks at the Niagara Falls Air Base or um, distributing comfort kits to VA veterans, and then certainly our, our blood donation program, our uh, uh, also our prepare or not preparedness, but our uh, uh, safety and uh, health training programs, and uh, you know it goes a great, great way. Oh my gosh, so many great things, um, a huge benefit here, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, for the chapter. Chuck, thank you so much for being here here this evening. Of course, 7 Eyewitness News is a proud sponsor. Come on down. The weather's great. The food's great. The cause is great. Jeff and Ashley, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Allie.